Hi and welcome to this video. I'm Lucas, the creator of Scoring Tools and many other tools for Studio One. And in this video, I'd like to show you the Track Tags feature. This is one of the main features of the Scoring Tools add-on for Studio One. And with Scoring Tools 2.0, it got a major overhaul with new features, more convenient Track Tag editing, and Track Tags are now safe within Track Presets. So what does Track Tag even mean? Let's say you want to see only specific tracks in your song and temporarily hide all the other tracks. Maybe you want to focus only on the lead vocals, the acoustic guitars, the violins in an orchestral piece, or all your synths. Or perhaps you want to compose only using sample libraries from a certain developer. With this feature, you can add tags to your tracks and then filter all tracks in your song by one or more of these tags. What is the benefit? Of course, you can already filter tracks by their names. For example, if all your guitar tracks have guitar in the name, then you can just use Studio One's track filter to quickly find them. That's useful, but the idea of tags is that you can filter tracks by things that are not in the name. And that could be anything. The instrument type, an instrument group, whether it's acoustic or electric, the developer of the sample library, or any custom category you come up with for your workflow. And this becomes really powerful with large projects. For example, if you have a big orchestral template with hundreds of tracks, then you can instantly show all violins or all celli just by clicking the track filter button, selecting violin and cello and pressing OK. Or maybe you want to quickly see all synths you typically use for bass sounds or FM synths or string pads. Here's a practical example. In my synth template, I've got several Omnisphere presets where the tracks are named only after the preset itself. With track tags, I can simply filter for Omnisphere to see all of them. Or I can filter for pads, or even combine the tags Omnisphere plus pads to see only my Omnisphere pad sounds. That's what I think is the great thing about tags. You can freely combine them and search for as many tags as you want. And if you often need the same combinations, you can save them as filter rules and easily recall them with one click. You can even assign them to a hotkey for even faster access. Okay, that's been the overview. Now let's get back to the basics and see how you can create track tags. And if you're not aware of scoring tools, Take a look at the website on studioonetoolbox.com, links in the description. That's where you can get the add-on for Studio One. Okay, here's one of my templates. I can now select one or more tracks and then click this button to open the track tag editor. This dialog shows you all tags that are assigned to these selected tracks, which is obviously empty because I haven't assigned any track tags yet. Let's click add to add a new track tag and enter strings, because these are all strings tracks. Once I click OK, you see that now these tracks have the strings tag. I'm going to do the same for all the brass tracks, and the woodwinds, and the percussion tracks, and the synths. Now I'm going to go a step further and add some more tags for different libraries and developers. For example, these tracks are all VSL. These tracks are Spitfire. These tracks here are the Albion One library. And of course, you can go as deep as you want and you can use your own tags that you think are useful for your workflow. And then when you have tagged all the tracks, then you can use the track tag filter. Here you can see all the tags that are used in your current song. That's another new feature in Scoring Tools too, because in previous versions you had to enter each tag as text. You can still do that in the text field below, but you can also just select one or more tags from the list. To select more than one tag, hold the Shift key and just select additional tags. And when I click OK, then we only see tracks with these tags. So you can very easily only show tracks with different tags, like only strings, only percussion, only synths or keyboards, 
And in case of a band recording, this could be drums or main vocals or keys, whatever. Okay, here are some tips for a faster workflow. You can just double click on a tag in the list to filter by this tag. And you can also navigate via the keyboard. This is great because you can add a keyboard shortcut for the track tag filter and then you can open the dialog with the shortcut, then use the arrow keys to select a tag and then press enter to run the filter. So you don't need to use the mouse at all for filtering tags. Note that this particular feature only works in Studio One Pro 7 or higher. Track tags can be used in version 6 as well, but for the double click and keyboard navigation feature, you need at least Studio One Pro 7 or higher. By combining tags, you can show multiple groups of tracks, like only strings and synths, or only brass and percussion. You can also change the search mode. What I've just shown you is basically an OR search. That means that it shows all tracks that have the strings or the synth tags. But maybe you want to see tracks that have all the tags I select. Let's say strings and orchestral tools. In this case, you can enable tracks must contain all tags. And now it will only show you tracks that have all the tags you selected. That's essentially an AND search. And of course, the track tag filter can also be used inside of macros. So you can create your own filters and run them with a shortcut or map them to an Elgato Stream Deck or any other MIDI controller that you use. Before I show you the last feature for this video, let me show you two more things that are important to know. If you have assigned tags to your tracks and you store them as track presets, then you can load these track presets in a new song and you will see that it recalled all of the tags. So if you import a couple of tracks into a new song, you can directly use the track tag filter and it will show you all the tags that are used on these tracks. By the way, if you see tags in brackets in the list, that's a partial tag. That means that only some of the selected tracks have this tag. That makes sense. Out of the six tracks I've selected here, of course, only the two violin tracks have the tag violin. The other tags, like strings and cinematic studio strings, are on all the tracks I've selected. If you upgrade to Scoring Tools 2 from a previous version of Scoring Tools, which, by the way, is a free upgrade, I don't charge you any money for the upgrade, if you're already a Scoring Tools user and you use track tags in Scoring Tools version 1, then you have to restore the old track tags because the new track tags use a new format and are more efficient. So to use your old tags, you must restore them. To do that, just go into the More drop-down menu and choose Restore Legacy Track Tags. Then a dialog will tell you which track tags were restored so that you know exactly what happened and then you're ready to go and you can use the new track tags in your song. So here's the last feature I'm going to show you in this video. If there are combinations of track tags that you use more frequently, then you can select the tags you like and switch to the Filter Rules tab. Here you can store and recall track tag rules. These are basically presets for the track tag filter. And here you can just add a new rule. It's already pre-populated with your existing selection. You can enter a name for the rule if you want, but you don't have to. And then a new rule is added to the list. So now you can use all the rules to quickly recall combination of tags. And of course, rules can also be used in macros, so you can run them via shortcuts or buttons or from your MIDI controller. And that's the track tags feature in Scoring Tools for Studio One. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and let me know what I should cover in the next track tags video. And thanks so much for watching.